KCL News, working for you. Our WJCL investigation into smart device use continues tonight. As millions of us turn to these phones and tablets, how do we break free from the connectivity? Well, last night's WJCL's Nick Dantario took a look at how these devices could distract some local politicians. Tonight, he's here with how one local government is turning to these devices but trying to avoid the distraction. Yes, yeah, more of us, including city leaders, turn to this technology as, as it improves. Well, it helps them make decisions and also helps cities save money. But as we discovered and showed you last night, it can also be abused. And like we did last night, we want you to turn to your smart device right now. Use the hashtag WJCL Investigates. Head to Twitter or Facebook and tell us what you think of this report. Things are changing in the city of Rinkin. To keep up with the times, the city bought 11 of these smart tablets this year. Devices meant to save taxpayer money on paper and keep local leaders informed. But as WJCL discovered in the city of Savannah, some elected politicians have a hard time separating personal and city business. After months of filming city council workshops and meetings, we captured leaders too often sending text messages, checking stocks, and even uploading Christmas photos to Facebook, all while city business was being conducted. And when we approached some Savannah aldermen about consistently being on their devices, they didn't see it as a problem. Yeah, I can walk and shoot them at the same time, so I can only speak for me. For me, I'm able to, to do those things, and so I do. I don't find it as an issue. I think, you know, the, it's up to the voters to decide whether the, we're giving enough time and attention to their district and to their concerns. It's a different scene in Rinkin. We went to city council meetings and watched how lawmakers there used their tablets. Counselors used the devices to take notes and followed along with the presentation. When they upgraded to the technology in February, Rankin City Manager Wesley Corbett says it was made clear these devices are not for personal use during city time. You need the undivided attention. We're discussing some very important business and everyone needs to be focused on the business at hand and they would be. Uh, they wouldn't want to be distracted by personal emails or checking Facebook. It's a message that resonates with taxpayers. When you have money on the line, you should, you know, be focused and you shouldn't be texting or uploading photos of your family vacation. The point made is that you can't be fully engaged in what you're doing if you're doing these things. So yeah, that's definitely a huge problem. Armstrong Atlantic State University assistant professor Dr. Elizabeth Denwaye Cola says setting boundaries are important for anyone who uses these devices, saying the best way not to get distracted is to just put the device away. Is that telephone call so important that I've got to drop everything at that, at that moment? Nine times out of ten, it's not really that important. Right now, the city of Rinkin has no official policy about devices on the books. But Corbett believes counselors will listen to his direction and stick to city business. But you would expect people that would adhere to that during council yep, meetings. Absolutely, yeah, and they will. There are some legal restrictions on tablet use in Brinkin. The city attorney told us that leaders, while they're taking part in city meetings, cannot communicate with each other using the tablets. Sharing information during meetings is also a concern with the state's borough mayor. She told us she'd like to see some direction from the state. Of course, we all want to know what everyone at home thinks of tonight's report. So go to Facebook, go to Twitter, use the hashtag WJCL investigates. And tomorrow, part three continues. This time, how these devices cause distractions for us all. All right, appreciate it. Thank you, Nick. You're welcome.